What up, it's your boy Pat, aka the Varsity Geek, here with another weekend recommendation video for the weekend of July 10th through the 12th. As we progress through this pandemic, there's a lot of things that are changing up. Sporting events are happening in different places, some have gotten canceled, some have gotten pushed back. But if you're looking for sports, you definitely need to be out on lookout this weekend because we're going to be going into the Mortal Kombat tournament. Nah, I'm just playing. We're going to be dealing with UFC 251, which is happening this Saturday, July 11th. And the reason I call it the Mortal Kombat Tournament is because it's happening on the UFC's new Fight Island, which is an island that they purchased, which is going to allow them to have events on the island, better quarantined, better separated from people. And the UFC's been trying to do this since the beginning of the pandemic and everything happened. So this is going to be the first event going on on that Fight Island. So it's pretty much just like the Mortal Kombat Tournament. As usual, it will be broadcast on ESPN and Pay-Per-View starting at 6 p.m. Eastern Time for the early prelims and having the main card starting at 10 p.m. Eastern Time. Now this card has some interesting matches on it, such as Jessica Andrade versus Rose Namajunas, Alexander Volkanovski versus Max Holloway. You have both Jose Aldo and Paige Van Zandt fighting. And in the main event, you have Kamara Usman fighting Jorge Masvidal. So if you're a UFC fan or fighting fan, there's no need to explain to you why you should watch it. It's another great event put on by the UFC with good fighters on the cards. It should be interesting to watch. And if you're not a huge UFC fan, you might want to check it out just for the Fight Island to see how things play out, how the UFC is doing everything, if it'll work, or if it'll just blow up in their faces. Either way, it'll be interesting. Hopefully we don't have any Mortal Kombat type stuff happening on the island, but you never know with 2020. And for all my nerds out there, I suggest you check out the new Crunchyroll original anime, The God of High School. Now, as I said, this is a Crunchyroll original anime. So, to legally watch it, you gotta go check out Crunchyroll. And the first episode of it dropped this past Monday. So it's very new and this is a good chance to get in right at the top of the action. Just like Tower of God, it's an adaptation of a South Korean manhwa brought to life in an animated style. And like I said in an earlier video, manhwa is pretty much just South Korea's answer for comic books or manga. That's just what they call the medium. The show follows the main character, Jin Mori, who's a 17-year-old martial artist from South Korea. Jin is invited to participate in a martial arts tournament known as the God of High School Tournament, which pits young high school martial artists against each other with the goal of achieving victory and getting one wish granted for the winner. And this tournament is also used to choose three representatives from South Korea in order to participate in the World Tournament, which from the title I'm going to assume is a tournament based on the top high school fighters from the around the globe. Now, as of the time of this recording, The God of High School only has one episode out, but the one episode that I did see was pretty dope. You already got to see a lot of different fighters using different martial arts styles, and the animation of Forge was superb. The music tracks and the voices that they used were pretty good, so I was excited to watch it. It's a classic tournament-based action anime, so you can probably expect all of the things that you're used to with those kinds of things. Different brackets, people fighting and teaming up with one another, a lot of different people using different martial arts and powers, etc. Episode 1 got me super hyped for sure, and if you're an action anime fan, this is something that's definitely right up your alley, and something that you should definitely check out and start watching from the beginning. And last but not least, for all my gamers out there, there's a game that you can definitely check out this weekend. Not the newest game, but still a great one, called The World Ends With You Final Remix. Now this is an RPG classic released by developer Square Enix, and is the definitive edition of the original The World Ends With Us that dropped in 2007 for the Nintendo DS. The World Ends With Us Final Remix is based in Japan, and it focuses on a game called The Reaper's Game. In this game, the souls of the dead are tasked with different missions and different challenges that they have to accomplish in order to proceed farther in the game. And winning the game will allow you to either be brought back to life, or it will allow you to transcend to some higher spiritual plane of existence. But if they fail, they're erased permanently. Now the main character, Neku Sakuraba, wakes up in this world and he doesn't have any memory of what happened to him, how he got there, or anything that's going on. And so he's pretty much going through playing the Reaper's game in order to one, stay alive, and two, try to find out a little bit about what happened to him and maybe figure things out from there. Now this is a game that's known for its cool visuals, interesting gameplay, and awesome music. And this definitive edition just takes everything from the original game and improves upon it 
making it even better. The Definitive Edition has everything from the original game and from the mobile game that came out, as well as some new things, such as an all new chapter to play through, remixed music, a new two player mode, and many, many other things. Oh yeah, and it also has updated graphics, which you're gonna expect from a Definitive Edition, but the graphics look way, way better than they did on the original Nintendo DS system. Now, like I said, it's not the newest game. It was released at the end of 2018 in October, but it's still a game that any avid RPG fan, especially if you're a fan of Square Enix games, should definitely go pick up. And the best part is it's currently on sale for half off on the Nintendo store, so you can go pick it up on your Switch for half price. As an avid RPG and Square Enix fan myself, I was upset that I missed out on it the first run around on Nintendo DS, and so it's something that I'm definitely gonna pick up, definitely gonna play, just to add, you know, another great RPG to my arsenal of games. And so those are just my quick recommendations for you guys this week. I hope you enjoyed them. As always, let me know things going on next week that you think that I should talk about in my video. What are some interesting games coming out? Some interesting sporting events? Cool stuff going on in the nerd world? Anything like that. And also, let me know what you think about these things. Did you watch The God of High School? Is there something that you're excited for? Have you played The World Ends With Us? Either the original or the final mix? What are your thoughts about it? And are you excited for UFC 251 on the UFC Fight Island? Let me know in the comments. I've been Pat the Varsity Geek. Peace out and have a great weekend.